Good morning everyone and welcome back to Craft Eccentricity and a little bit of a funny throat today so uh, <coughs> and I'll try and speak right today we're up with Panalisa and it's her papers and ephemera and some of them are quite large so I'm just going to get my ruler I'm going to put this down I'm going to take everything out so that you can see all of the sheets within the pack right they are ten and a quarter the ones that i'm about to do now by eight inches so for the next uh, this one and the next two packs they are this size so i'm just opening them up and i'm going to get them out and then <clears throat> i will put my bag down just there not because i want to clear the camera but because i want to be able to separate the sheets right so here we go look at that color isn't that awesome oh i mean if you're somebody who loves to do your junk journaling and your planners and stuff but you don't really want to get all your paint and gesso out these are just absolutely glorious Oh, my camera's behaving. You can see they've got kind of burlapy linen textures within them. And real Indian summer looking. Just absolutely wonderful. And the next one is glorious again. It's a lovely, lovely turquoise sheet. You've got all of those vintage... I'm going to try to be as close as I can so that you can see all of those beautiful patterns and then you've got this kind of like fade up the middle which you know if you've got a book and you wanted to fold your sheet up that would look perfect just running down the side inside the seam just really wonderful and then we're going a lovely lovely cobalt blue again i'm just getting my fingers underneath everything look at that in fact i don't even think my camera is doing it justice because this blue is a lot richer i'll get closer than it's actually showing on my camera and i don't know if tilting there you go tilting it into the light made it look a little bit darker which is what it is it's just absolutely glorious love it these would just look nice um, in very simple picture frames if you're looking for some new pictures for your wall um, they would look gorgeous just like that you know without even cutting them up because they do look like fabrics let's see how close we can go there just absolutely gorgeous so I thought my camera was stuttering then and pausing I wasn't sure I hope it isn't and then the next one is another beautiful blue and it just looks like it's been washed with paint just wonderful and then last but not least we've got this one and you've got this kind of like fading again it's just really nice Right, so I've got to put my shiny bag on top to separate it from the next pack. So that was the first one, and that's blues. Now, this next one looks um, a bit more sort of like altered art mixed media. So I'm going to go into this one, and I'll start with the top sheet. And it just looks like sheets of paper, you know, just pasted on top of one another. You've got that wrinkled coffee staining and sort of like walnut stain. You've got the painted edges, the splatters. You've got a button there and it does look very 3D. And you've got those painted crosses. And then next up is another one that is paint splattered. I don't know if I've got that the right way around. Probably not because the fleur de lis that way. And then you've got the look of an envelope that's been pasted down. And then I'll grab this one and that's at different angles you've got what looks like a crystal brooch there but more painterly if you know what I mean 
just really dark that one that that actually this section here would be fabulous for a halloween card and then you've got one that looks like it's had alcohol ink you've got a bit of a film strip or a page edge there just wonderful great cheats that's what they are and then you've got this one i think that goes that way around where you've got little bits of embroidery you've got little bits of lace let's get close up there little bits of wood and gesso splatters a little bit of blue paper with a torn edge just great and then next up we have another one which is like note paper lace buttons alcohol ink a little bit of cardboard there let's get close up on that one not great very high contrast on them so that's that sheet from that pack and then making sure that i'm getting them all we've got a lot of x's on that one once again you could also use that you know for halloween if you wanted to and then this one very similar and it's got buttons on it so really vivid and rich colors so that is that pack and i'm going to put that down on top and then we go into some greens now i'm just going to figure out how i open this one and this one is a little bit um art deco art nouveau and jade greens and just glorious colors great for doing atcs look at those birdies all of those fabulous elements just awesome and then the next one is pinks and lemons and plums mustards another little birdie in there there's your peacock you've got dream catchers floral bits and paisleys just stunning and we have another peacock and you've got sort of like peacock paisley elements there and there's your peacock you've got mushrooms just really beautiful i mean that would make gorgeous book cover and then you've got all of those vintage flowers just laid up and then this one which is more paisley more flowers but you can see the sort of like nouveau deco kind of thing going on in there and then you've got a little bit of brick wall up there so you know for doing your journals your atcs if you don't want to you know stop pasting um everything together you've got like ready-made sheets to go this one is great You've got chrysanthemums, sunflowers, you've got different shades of plaid, you've got another birdie, more flowers, you've got some flamingos. But these are kind of like done in sections where if you want to, you can crop out your ATCs. I mean, I'm wondering how many you could make from that. Maybe eight or ten ATCs and have a different background for each. Or even coins if you like to do your trading coins just absolutely gorgeous colors right i'm just going to pause while i move those out of the way right i'm back and i've taken the package off this one because as i said i'm going in size and this one is smaller so i'm just making sure that i've got the pieces and i've got bow running up and down with his ball so you've got that painterly effect there which you know is they're just absolutely glorious these are such a time saver and i will measure this one when i'm done i'm just picking the pieces out to show you so you've got all this abstract paint going on i'm trying to make sure that i haven't got sheets stuck together so it's quite literally like someone's just rolled a bunch of paint onto a jelly plate 
and uh, done a pull. So if those are the kinds of things that you like, you know, this one, as I keep saying, these are just time savers. You don't have to get all your goodies out. Well, they're getting your goodies out is nice. But these are just awesome backgrounds. Now, my camera, I do believe, is playing up a little bit. So I'm just going to pick up this last sheet so that you can get more of a detail. There you go. So you've just got all of those gorgeous painterly splatters. And I'm going to measure that one now. Just push that together. And we are seven and a half inches, a fraction under by five and five eighths. So absolutely glorious. Put that over there. And then I'm going in with my next size and finding the opener on this one. Sorry if I'm going quiet. I'm just trying to find the edge. And this one is vintage florals, I believe. And I'll measure this one before I start. And we are at eight inches by five and five eighths. I'll do that again because I think the paper dropped out of my hand. Yeah, eight inches and five and five eighths of an inch. So we've got that lovely rose. And then you've got another one. Just really lovely. It's almost like large versions of washi tape, if you know what I mean. Where you've got all of those elements blending together. Right, so this pack is two. I'm making sure nothing is stuck together and I'm getting it wrong. Three. There are four sheets in this pack. Isn't that lovely? So I'll pop that one over. And then we're going into the six inch packs, which I can pick up and show you from the reverse. Or from the front on these, actually. So here is, these are six by six. And these along the top are the designs that you will get inside just lovely lovely rich colors like William Morris wallpaper isn't it and then if I flip that over you can see the back sheet so those are lovely and then we've got another one which is kind of like Brocks and Paisleys and that one is called Appreciate Everything once again it's six by six and that's the back of that one this one is called religious myth but you can see that it's uh, it's on the table and then next up something a little brighter and if you like your polka dots you've got the large and the smaller in matching colors there and if i turn that over you get a close-up that one is black and white and in here you get 12 different of two sheets so there's 24 sheets in each of these packs so that one's called make rainbow day and then next up this is always a good one to have and it's brick wall texture all different kinds of brick wall there's all kinds of uses for that whether you're using your critters or you're creating a garden and you've got a little garden fence or an arch or you like to make little mini uh, paper houses you can use that to decorate the walls just really wonderful just perfectly scaled for making little mini houses so that one is called brick wall texture and then next up we have little paper book bundles and these don't actually show you uh, what's inside which means i've got to undo it and get it out now i'm going to have a look you get 60 pieces so you get 20 designs so you're getting three of each you've got it knotted there with that beautiful string and i was hoping i'd be able to take it off without untying it but i'm not going to be able to so I'm going to get it off like this so you've got that beautiful little cover there 
I usually use elements like this and just cut them up for tags but if we're getting three sheets of each there should be three butterflies and there probably is so I'll be able to just scoot through them you've got mushrooms different style of mushroom there another style of butterfly these are just absolutely gorgeous butterflies on lemon so this is a heavily butterfly influenced pack I think it's all butterflies and mushrooms just really lovely all vintagey I hope my camera's not blurred again so we're trying to get down to the next one so if you love your sort of like coffee stained oh we've got two dragonflies and there is a little coffee stain there and a little splash there funny me saying that and dragonflies again specimens little insect wings more little specimens more butterflies let's get close so you can see it just really soft and this is lovely paper the only way i can describe it is like i don't know it's kind of like thin out wallpaper with a slight texture and i don't know whether my camera would pick up that texture but it's just really lovely and then we've got more mushrooms we've got more butterflies and we've got more dragonflies so that's that pack and then i'm going to open this one up this one looks fruit oriented which is absolutely fine by me i'm just untying the string again i'm going to put that there and then you've got the lovely cover on it again you've got the same sort of like tonal values which is very vintage and we've got lots of fruits you've got apples and blueberries you've got plums and pears citrus i think those are asian pears you've got lemons you've got pomegranates peaches let's get in there Ooh. And it actually tells you what they are bellis perennis i don't know whether that's because i'm getting too close up to my camera there we go that's a better point i'm just tucking those inside of there you've got raspberries black currants there's a lovely one apples and pears that would look really lovely on a thanksgiving card is that a crab apple it might be to get a magnifying glass out to read it and then we've got more apples and more berries And there's something that can be cropped down, put that way around to go on to an ATC. Really pretty. I'm surprised my voice has held up. I've been talking for an awful long time. More berries, more fruits, cherries. Love that one. That is gorgeous. And that is as well. I mean if you want to take your own watercolour or pencils or something you can always colour you know elements in yourself so that is that pack and I'm just going to pause while I get the others right so next up is labels and that's kind of self-explanatory so I don't really have to open that and those are in red and in black and I don't think it gives you the quantity but I'm turning it over no, it doesn't give you the quantity, but there's an awful lot in there. I'd probably estimate about 40 or 50. So you do get a lot of labels. And then this one is absolutely fabulous. You've got these acetate fronts, coffee stained pockets. So I'm going to have to open this so that you can have a look. these are just absolutely glorious look at that i'm just pulling them apart here 
and that will fold and you've got a little thumb cut there so that will go into there isn't that wonderful and these actually do look handmade they do look different and they do look individually stained they're not identical at all I mean if I look at the stains on the front as well see they're totally different like you stains them yourself yeah each one is different and you can see there's a little element here that didn't get done to show you that all of these are colored by hand those are just absolutely gorgeous I mean you could put whatever you want to in there but you know pressed flowers or seeds or something like that and then the um, the acetate piece that's put in there is glued right up to the hinge so it's not like a flimsy little bit and they just feel and look handmade those are absolutely gorgeous I'm surprised she's still got these in stock actually maybe she has maybe she hasn't I haven't uh, I haven't looked yet to do the links below but um, those are beautiful Ima imagine looking through the window of one of those and just seeing a pressed flower you know that you've been given for Mother's Day from a bunch or something like that what a wonderful thing to put in a book and next up and this is the last item and these are vintage peeps now I don't know whether that glare is coming off of my camera so I'm going to open it up and I'm going to check inside and I don't know once again how many are in here it just says vintage collage sheets but these are heavier weight cardboard so I'm going to get a few out so that you can have a look fold that bit in so we've got little seated characters and these are kind of like stains from cream to sepia uh, through to sort of like walnut stain so you've got lots of little children there's another one that's sitting just really cute that's a lovely one for Christmas if you've got your um oh what's it called that glaze that embossing glaze and uh, you go over that with a little bit of um, broken china or something just to make her look super frosty and a little bit of glitter on her it's all right i'm gonna get a clear picture there you go and you can see the thickness of that i would say it's twice as thick as a cereal box and so you've got older children you've got taller children they're all different sizes but they're all sizes that are manageable within a project so they're not huge if you know what i mean and then look at her isn't she adorable that's just lovely i mean she could have her hand rested on a pumpkin for halloween i envision her doing that you've got ladies with baskets of fruit you got a little sitting girl with a hat I don't know if I'm there we go I'm just going to try and put these down slowly you've got men you've got boys just really lovely even a married couple there you've got that one that little bit between the arm there needs popping out you got a little boy and girl with uh, I think those are Easter eggs in their basket that's very Halloween -y, isn't it you could cut out some witchy hats and pop those on and then you've got a round one first of January great for a vintage New Year card and then you've got the couple there just absolutely gorgeous right that was a long video and I told you that it would be 
but they are fabulous and the colors are just so beautiful so now that i've shown you the dyes yesterday and all of these today we're going to start making tomorrow so i thank you so much for joining me today have an absolutely awesome day and as usual all links below bye